What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can take a normal JPEG image and turn it into a fully vectorized logo. Now, a reason you might want to do this is for maybe something like a shirt design, maybe you're printing stickers, anything outside of a normal social media header, I recommend you do this to your logo because it's going to keep it at a much higher quality. So in order to do this, it's really, really simple. All you have to do is get your JPEG or PNG image, drag it into Adobe Illustrator, and now you can get started. So in order to do this, it's really, really simple. All you have to do is select your logo by using the selection tool. Go ahead and select it, go to window, and then go all the way down to image trace. Once you've selected that, a separate window will pop up where you can then change a couple settings. All I'm gonna do though is go to mode and select color. This is because I do have a bit of red in my logo, but if yours is just black and white, I recommend you keep it on black and white. Once you've done that, just go ahead and hit trace. And then this may take a while depending on how complex your logo is. Mine's done it pretty quick, so once you've done that, just hit the X on it, select it again, and then go back to object, go to um, image trace, and then go to expand. Once you've done this, it will obviously expand all of the um, points and it will make them their own individual points. So then you can obviously change colors of it, um, you can change separate parts. It just makes it much easier to edit. So, yeah, that's how you obviously vectorize a JPEG logo. Really, really simple. If you do have any troubles though, please be sure to put them in the comments down below and I'll help you out as soon as possible. Anyways, guys, this has been Visual or James, and I'm out. Peace.